Welcome to Dynamics Ignite from Technology Management. In this video we are going to look at the General Ledger. The General Ledger is often referred to as the nominal ledger in the UK. This is the set of internal accounts that will report on the trading performance and value of your company. It is the first consideration when configuring the NAV system as all other functions are built upon the chart of accounts. A standard chart of accounts is provided as part of Dynamics Ignite, but simple additions can be made by the user. I will show you the chart of accounts and we will post a journal with some additional values that will help us analyse our postings by department. These additional analysis values are called dimensions. I open Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 and go to the chart of accounts. To find the account I can either search by the account number or the name cleaning. To review the postings that have been made to this account, I click on the net change. This shows all of the entries that have made up this total value. To help with my analysis, I can also view this as a chart. By looking at the chart, it is easy for me to see how my cleaning has been apportioned across the different departments. And I can see that the sales team have spent more on cleaning than the other teams. We will now look at how quick and easy it is to post a journal to the cleaning account. We are going to assume that our sales department has just paid the cleaner through petty cash. I have opened up a general journal with the cash receipt batch. It's a payment from our cleaning account which is account number 8110. And I can put in that it's the cleaning for sales in February. I'm also going to put this down to using our dimensions that it is the department sales and the amount was £120. Once I've done that I can just simply post or post and print. To view that entry I can either go to the cleaning account and look at the ledger entries. If I scroll down to the bottom, I can see the one that we've just entered. Or if I know the document number, I can navigate to it. I can use the navigate function to find the document using the document number. I can then view the transactions. Regular postings can easily be maintained using recurring journals. Here I have set up a variable recurring journal for our maintenance account. It is balancing to our bank account. Once I post it, it will create another journal for the end of next month. I can also set up fixed recurring journals and reversing recurring journals. Reversing recurring journals are a very easy way to manage your accruals posting.